Hello again and welcome to Letter from England, broadcasting for AC Press and the Spanish Evangelical Alliance. This week comes the frighteningly true story of a Romanian Christian family who had their children taken away by the state in what some are calling a kidnapping. Adrian Gafitescu and his wife Brenda are Romanians. They've been legal residents in Spain for a number of years and live in Larboc in Tarragona. They've also been members of the Evangelical Romanian Church, where their pastor testifies to their irreproachable behaviour both as a family and as parents, and that's over many years. Yet the generality that the regional authority has taken their three children away from them, the youngest immediately after being born on the 31st of December last year. The chairman of the Evangelical Romanian Community has labelled the whole thing kidnapping in a democratic society. The authorities have acted in a way that can only be described as surreal after a dubious procedure full of documents that are incomprehensible to the family because they're written in Catalan, a language they don't understand, and also other situations. Now, although Brenda is currently unemployed, as almost three million Spanish people are currently, Adrian's job is enough to bring up his family, consisting of the couple and their three children. They're active participants uh, in the local Romanian community as well as in the Evangelical Romanian Church. But in the last few weeks their life has become a nightmare. About a month ago their second son, Daniel, who's always suffered from convulsive crying episodes, had a series of convulsions together with one of these incidents. Worried about this, the parents took him to hospital where he was diagnosed as having hydrocephalus, an abnormal accumulation of cerebrospinal fluid on the brain. The boy was sent home after going through surgery without any major problem, but the hospital informed the family that as they could not rule out the possibility of the boy having been shaken as the possible cause of the hydrocephalus, they had to carry out a routine investigation. According to Brenda, at the beginning of the, this investigation they were well treated by social workers. They were even kindly told that it was not a serious procedure but merely an ordinary one that they had to carry out. However, later, they were told that their bank accounts were required to be investigated, which they didn't allow, considering it to be an invasion of their privacy. They constantly received letters that they couldn't understand because they were written in Catalan. They only speak Romanian and Spanish. And they began to detect that the attitude of the investigators towards them was becoming more hostile. One day, they discovered a final report which described them as a family as disorganized and accused them of a lack of hygiene and financial means. This has been flatly denied by both the parents and the evangelical pastor of the church they attend. Brenda complains that they haven't even asked us for my husband's payslip. As a result of the report, Daniel was taken away from his parents, and after giving birth on 31st of December, Brenda also lost the newborn baby, who was allegedly taken away because of breathing problems. However, six hours later, the police told the parents that the boy would remain under the Generalitat's guardianship. Again, the documents were written in Catalan, so they personally went to pick up a document in Spanish that they could understand and to ask for answers. Their eldest son, Gresban, who is almost two, was with them, and to the astonishment and dismay of the parents, who were threatened with being arrested if they didn't accept the situation, he also was taken away from them for the same reason as in Danielle's case. So now we have a baby and two young children just snatched away from their parents not understanding what's going on, and in the case of the eldest boy, not speaking the language uh, that the authorities uh, would speak to him. In the middle of the New Year holidays, they tried to appeal against the legal period that's established for these cases, but after visiting different lawyers, they all refused to take charge of the case. As she's not fluent in Catalan, Brenda feels hurt about the lack of clear information regarding such a serious subject and situation. She also feels hurt by the unfair and unreal data of the report that has been used to take their children away from her, as well as the strange process that's led the parents to this situation. Far from their children, and now waiting for a trial that, they've been told, could take place in as many as two years. She also suffers because her children, especially the eldest who only understands Romanian, are now separated from their parents. Brenda considers that her children have been kidnapped from their parents without any real reason. She's asked for help from Romanian-speaking evangelical churches, and so far they've collected 6,000 signatures on a petition. 
In thinking about the child protection system, so-called, of the Generalitat, she considers that it doesn't work properly and that instead of defending children, sometimes it can harm them, abusing the weakest, as in this case. But, she says, trying not to cry, I will recover my children. We are not guilty of what we are being accused. Morat Mijail, uh, chairman of the Romanian Evangelical Community of Catalonia, Valencia and the Balearic Islands, states without any doubt that one cannot speak of m mistreatment in this family. He's been extremely critical of the action of the authorities in what, in his opinion, is an abuse and an indisputable kidnapping. He adds that the lack of documentation is making it hard for them to take any legal action in response to the decision. He says the authorities we've gone to have refused to talk to us so far. We're ready to denounce this situation to the media or to use any other legal means. He says the family are really affected despite the strength that they are showing in their struggle to recover their children and states this is an incomprehensible situation. Thank you for listening to Letter from England broadcasting for Protestant Digital. Goodbye.